At Booker Municipal, we are fully aware of the specialist nature of our products. We truly believe in good maintenance, diligent daily checks, one only maintain uptime, but will be less replacement parts, and ultimately a higher value for the unit at end of life. As part of this commitment to our clients, we have six strategic place service centres dotted around the country to support quick and easy access to spare parts and to carry out any training which may be required. By considering one of our full service packages, we can remove all of your worries. We'll provide four services per year, including an in-depth 72-point checklist and including a one year's warranty to ensure your sewer cleaner is running at peak performance at all times. In addition to this, all services will be carried out at our dedicated service centres by our specialist engineers. A full book of municipal history will ensure that your end of life costs will be kept at a premium. To show our commitment, all brand new sewer cleaners, including this CR120, come with up to a three day familiarisation package for up to four operators. This specialist training offers an in-depth guide on how to operate the vehicle, all safety procedures, and how to maximise the efficiency of this vehicle effectively. This provides your operators with the confidence needed to get the best possible performance out of the vehicle and the least amount of downtime. Daily checks are a necessity for the correct running of the machine. It will result in less replacement parts and ultimately reduce the total cost of ownership. The first daily check is hydraulic oil. This is located behind the driver's cab and will take hydraulic 46 oil. The second check is the vacuum pump. The oil is SAE 30 and is located on the near side of the vehicle. The third daily check is the jetting oil. This is gear 220 and is located on the driver's side of the vehicle. The fourth daily check is the drain exhaust filter drain. This is located on the passenger side of the vehicle and needs to be emptied daily. The fifth daily check is using the auxiliary hose and this is to clean and flush out the cyclones and ball float valve. The sixth daily check is checking the float ball in the front tank. The seventh daily check is the jetting pump filter. These will need to be removed and cleaned on a daily basis and checked for debris. They are located on the driver's side just above the jetting pump. The eighth daily check is the vacuum pump air filter. This will need to be removed and checked on a daily basis as there is residual oil that could be left at the bottom of the casing. You need to remove the air filter and ensure all residual oil is mopped up and then replaced carefully. The ninth daily check is the coarse and fine filter. These will need to be cleaned on a daily basis and in operation cleaned for five minutes for every hour of use. You will also need to remove all rag and debris from the course filter, which is located on the back door of the vehicle. The 10th daily check is for after tipping. Once all debris has been removed, you need to grease the rear end seal before the door is closed. In many instances, the operators will conduct these daily checks of the morning when filling the vehicle. By doing this, you are utilising the operator's time efficiently. Booker Municipal, driven by better.